super exciting. We've got the fish. Oh. So we've got some exciting news today is chatting to a friend of mine, Jay, who's one of my sort of Facebook fish friends, I guess you can kind of call them. He's closing down one of his tanks. He's going to be rescaping, getting some new types of fish, and he's offloading five very nice angelfish. So it could be a bit tricky on a bio load, introducing five fish at once. Normally I wouldn't be doing that kind of thing. So we're going to do a big water change, get the nitrates down as low as we can. So it's all super fresh, clean all the filters, ready for when these guys start pooing in the tank. Because the angelfish cichlids, they do poo quite a bit, don't they? So the bio load will increase. Get the tank ready for the angels. For all the cheese and pickle lovers out there, this is proof that vegan cheese doesn't really melt properly. So just to go over what I did so far. First off, I got my big bucket. I attached my hose to a submersible pump, which we put inside here at the 50% depth. Then I attached my hose to it, gaffer tape that to, or slash masking tape that to the toilet, pumped half of that water into the toilet, and then I took the pump out. We've put that into the sink over there. Filling our water, full blast. We put the water conditioner for the whole tank inside the, um, inside the bucket. And I've spot, I had some poo floating around in there, so I basically already picked, siphoned some of that in there into a bucket. And then I basically squished all my sponges out to get the poo out of those into the bucket. You can use that water good for your plants as well. And then I basically put all the filters back. Now we're pumping the water back into the tank and we'll be done. What will happen also is, you know, there's gonna be some debris and bits and bobs lying around the bottom of the tank and some odd bits of floating plants. What I'm gonna do is, basically because I've got those two filters which are really good for flow, I'm gonna let them do their magic for a day or so, collect up loads of bits of crap so I won't have to do too much hoovering and it will just siphon itself all back through and tidy itself up within a day. Um, and then I'll just quickly empty them out again if I need to. Because um, generally, you don't need to be too fussy really. It will sort itself out once it will start swirling around the flow goes all over the place. All right, yeah, so we're almost there. We're almost to the top. So that is it, done. All freshly done. I don't know if you noticed I put this crazy onion plant back in. It's awesome, isn't it? floating around everywhere. Let's see how long it stays in. Generally, I'll come tomorrow morning and it will be dislodged because there's no dirt for it to grow any roots in. I've got rocks all piled around it. Now, I said before, look, if you look closely, I've got bits of plant, and Christ knows what else floating around, but these little bad boy filters, as you can see here, they're already sucking it all in, so it won't be long. Even by tonight, this tank will be absolutely crystal clear. All right, let's go and get those angelfish. Oh, 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 oh. Look at them. Massive. <laughs> 